Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to create a native like UI in Unity. We are going to use a paid asset called MOOC, so let's get into it. I have this simple URP scene, with no setup. Let's go to the Unity Asset Store webpage, and purchase the asset. The link will be in the description below. After purchasing the asset, go back to Unity. Go to Package Manager. Change to My Assets. You will see MOOC there. Click Download and Import. After MOOC is imported, you will see a pop-up, asking you to install TextMesh Pro. Click Install TextMesh Pro if you have not installed it. Let's close all the windows, and clear the warning. After MOOC is installed, we will need to add a renderer feature, in the renderer, for the blur effect, this step is for URP only, so go to settings, find the renderer, click add renderer feature, and select UI blur renderer feature. And now when you right click in the hierarchy window, you will see a new option, MOOC. And inside MOOC, you will see a lot of items, like, background, text, button, etc. We will need to add MOOC App Manager, it will handle everything for us. And now, we can add any MOOC component. Let's add a MOOC UI Canvas. It's a canvas that MOOC uses for the scene transition. We can put most of the UI in this canvas. Let me set the view to 2D, and put the view side by side, so we can see it. Let's add a nav bar and a bottom bar. Right click in the hierarchy, select MOOC, nav bar, and bottom bar. Inside MOOC UI canvas, there's a container, we can add anything inside it. Let's add a spinner. You can see it is so easy to create a native like UI with MOOC. Let's enter play mode and see how it looks. Let me max screen. Nice and easy. Let's go back to the editor. MOOC provides a theme setting that, we can change the whole look of the UI elements. Go to MOOC, MOOC setting, MOOC app data, and select MOOC app data object. There you will see platform type. We can set it to device, iOS, or material. Device means it will change the UI type of iOS or material, based on the platform in the build setting. iOS for iOS material for other platforms override the platform type to ios or material means use that ui type regarding the platform type and we can also set the dark mode here then we can set the color theme of the app go to mooc mooc setting mooc theme data default theme and you will see ios theme data and material theme data let's go to the material one you will see a lot of colors there for both light and dark mode. Let's change the main color light to red color, it's the main color for light mode. You will see the spinner change to red color, but hang on, the app bar is still blue color. That's because the app bar has its own color property. Let's change the nav bar color light to red color as well. And you will see the app bar is changed to red color as well. You could change the app bar title color, app bar back button color, etc. But I am gonna set them white for now. Now if we create a new spinner, it will be red color too. Because the color is driven by the theme data. If we change the color in the theme to green color, you will see both spinners are changed to green. But you can override each component in MOOC. Select the spinner, tick the override color in the inspector, and you can override for iOS or material and each option has color property for dark and light mode. Let's change this one's color to red again. Now if we create a new spinner, it will still be green, but that one stays red. So, that's it for today's video, it's an introduction for MOOC. Hope you liked it. 